We looked at five different methods used to build homemade digital HD TV antennas. Making an HD TV antenna is not a difficult thing to do. This isn't rocket science. The main component is metal. Aluminum works very well and is very easy to work with. Steel or copper can be used as well. There is no special design shape required to pick up TV signals, even though some will tell you that a fractal design works best. It doesn't. There are several factors that need to be addressed when it comes to building the perfect antenna. The first is size matters. Make it too small and you limit the number of channels you will be able to receive. On the other hand, bigger isn't always better. The second is location. The ideal location is in a clear straight line of sight from the broadcast towers close enough to see them and with no obstacles in between you and them, such as hills, trees, and buildings. Number three, weather. Weather is the one variable that changes all the time and therefore requires changes to be made on the fly when it is causing problems with program reception. Satellite dishes go dark when the weather is bad and requires the viewer to wait until the weather clears up before getting back their programming. Not so with an over-the-air antenna. One or two channels might be affected by weather and it can be annoying if it happens to be the channels you are interested in watching at the time However, there is a fix, usually. All you have to do is move the antenna, sometimes as little as a few inches one way or another. We have no idea why this works like it does, but it does work. It is possible that when you move the antenna to clear up a channel, one of the other channels may go dark. We reviewed five homemade antennas to help you decide which might work best for your situation and location. The first one is made out of a soda can, which is aluminum. This design is pretty involved and requires a lot of different materials and a lot of time to assemble. We can't verify its range since we didn't take the time required to build one of these, but the range can't be too great because of the small size of the receptor, which would be the soda can. If you're looking for something easy and simple, this next one is what you want. It's a paper clip. All you need to do is straighten out a large paper clip and stick it in the antenna input at the rear of your TV set. Its small size is on par with the clear TV key and the TV freeway antennas. Not much range and not movable in the event of bad weather. We tried one, but it didn't bring in any channels on its own. It did bring in a few channels when we touched the end of it with a finger, which meant that we were using our body as the antenna. Not something that would work well in the long run, because who wants to stand there all day while you're watching TV? But yes, your body works as an antenna. The next antenna is very similar to the paperclip idea, but uses a much thicker wire instead and requires a bit more preparation. This one uses a short piece of coaxial cable to fashion the antenna. All that needs to be done is to strip off the insulation down to the bare wire and screw the other end onto the antenna input. The fourth one is slightly more elaborate and can be made with metal coat hangers or copper wire. The wire is bent to shape, we call them ears or whiskers, and then attached to a piece of wood with screws. Each ear is then connected to each other with a strip of wire. This antenna will bring in channels up to 50 miles away depending on the terrain. It is bigger than all the other previous antennas shown here, which makes a difference. The last antenna is made with aluminum foil glued to a pizza box cover for portability. It is easily moved when weather causes problems with the reception. It is an indoor antenna with a range of 50 miles or more, again depending on the terrain, and it can be made in less than 5 minutes at your kitchen table. This is the one we recommend due to range, portability, cost to make, and that it is pretty easy to make as well. And while you're at it, please subscribe and pass this on to your friends.